so Brentford zero, Arsenal one. I don't know how Brentford didn't score. Um, they had so many chances. Wissa, Buemo, um, missing Ivan Tony. He was in the crowd. Uh, apparently, yeah. according to the Superfan channel, he's come to watch the Arsenal. Yeah, well, I'll tell you what, he must have been asleep watching that performance, Kenny. You was at the ground. I'm surprised you're still awake. What did you hey, think let, <laughs> let, let me tell you, Let me tell you something there. Enough's enough. He's enough's enough. I was, I was in the away end, and I'll tell you one thing, right? I think Kai Havertz has cooked his goose, mate, because we were talking about it in the first half, and we were saying Kai Havertz did okay. And I said to myself, I said to, you know, I spoke to Lee Judges, I spoke to Duncan, I said, for £65 million, pound, okay is not good enough. I remember you talking about how he won a few defensive headers and how he cleared it. How he, he did his defensive work, and I was look. I I I actually did a Kai Havertz watch. That's what I and because because, because because yeah, but, off the ball is amazing. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, I did a Kai Havertz watch, and that was prompting from yourself and Asphalt. So I, I blame you and Asphalt for it. And I can tell you one thing now: I've come to the same conclusion as you have, but you have. And not only did I give a Kai Havertz watch, I did an Aaron Ramsdale watch. And I could tell you categorically now, Arteta was spot on with his decision to play um, Raya in goal as first choice. And I'll tell you why. Let's start with, we'll come to have us. Aaron Ramsell, right, if you, if you go to any of the BBC Sport, you go to Sky, he kept a clean sheet and everyone cheered him. Don't believe a word of it. Whenever the crosses came in, he was scared to come for crosses. He, like in corner routines, there, there were times when he was, it, when he, his defenders had to get him out of trouble because he was so scared. Because last season, when he was coming for corners, we knew what happened. He was getting beaten left, right and centre. Goal, his clearances weren't too bad. There were times when Aaron was trying to pass the ball out the back. Not it, Obviously, he's not as proficient as um, our good friend um, from Spain, from Madrid. But he tried. But it's still not the same. He still reverts to type. Now that's um, Aaron. Quite Havertz. Let me tell you something now. I've just I've just um, met some Chelsea fans on the way at, back in North London, and they've just they said they said to me, as bad as Havertz is, they want him back and they want to give us Mudrich. But I was going up to some Chelsea fans, um, come out of the ground. Obviously, we were playing Brentford, and I said to them, "How do you, how the hell did you do it?" And they said, "Well." Obviously, he played more games for us, more um, matches for us, and he did have a few winners and a few good games. But we did try to warn you; it's few and far between. And now, when I did my Kai Havertz watch, I did the first half. There was an instances where he was doing his defensive work; he was working his nuts off in areas that he's not paid to do. He was working in areas that you expect a midfielder to do. So when people praise Kai Havertz for doing his work off the ball in the defensive areas. We expect that. It's footballing common sense. It's the man management that, that you learn. And one of the reasons why you become foot, um, footballers is because you got, it shows you have a football brain because you know the difference between making sure you are, making sure that there's enough bodies to stop attacks. So you can't give him praise for that. In attacking areas, Kai Havertz gets the ball on his left foot. His favourite left foot, what does he do? Cut in, has a shot, gets blocked on his right foot. Now, I'm sorry, what, what, why, what is stopping from shooting? And then the second half, when I did a Kai Havertz work, it was, oh, even, it was, it was even worse. Kenny, I it counted was, at least five times. He was literally one yard behind the referee in that second half. Yeah, 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 that's, the yeah, yeah, that's the thing. That's what we saw as well when we were in the grand. People were cascading the, the man, were saying, enough's enough, mate. Seven, I don't know how many games, eight games in, and it's getting, and it doesn't, it's, you know what? It's a case of like we've gone from one nip to do well, trying to suck the ball in the net on his behalf, yeah, and we just and we're we just saying, you know, we just expect we we can't see lightly in the tunnel with him. Yeah, I said we this can't... to you the other day after the PSV game. I said to you, mm. you thought he played all right in the PSV game, yeah. And I, I get well, that you see the bigger picture. We, we just see what where the ball is and that, yeah? yeah. In that PSV game, because so many people and now me and Afsal have infiltrated you, right? Kai Havertz watch. We we'll come to Eddie and Ketty watch in a minute because we did that one today as well. Right. Oh, don't worry. I, I'm getting to him as well. Right. Don't you but worry about him. I'm getting to him PSV as well. Game, in that PSV game, he did. He jogs around. Mm. Yeah. It. 
Like when you watch Gabriel Martinelli, for example, he'll do a quick give and go. Odegaard mm-hmm. will do a quick give and go. Havertz mm-hmm. gives a ball and don't go. So yeah. you, now it's all slow and it's backwards, sideways, methodical, right? In in that PSV game and again tonight, mm-hmm. when we were watching him for five straight minutes, not the ball, him, mm-hmm. he runs into an area where you've got four players in a box mm-hmm. at the square, right? Yeah, and he's in the middle. You now can't give him the ball. That, 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 that's exactly what we saw during the match. But the fact, I mean, that, and that's the thing. I can't see light at the end of the tunnel. I don't know. I can't guarantee you, as a fan, that we're gonna that, that we're gonna see a good performance for him. I can't even see where his next goal was coming from. We always thought that 25, 24 years ago, Von Ree, when he first came to the club, even though he couldn't hit a barn door, you could feel that a goal was coming. You could feel a performance was coming. But with this guy, I can't find anything. Hey, I can't find it. this guy to Dennis Bergkamp, yeah? Dennis Bergkamp finished top five Ballon d'Or twice. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah, but the thing and is... he had mad got, ability. Yeah, but with Dennis Bergkamp, you knew that there was a goal coming. You could feel yeah. it. But with this yeah. guy, I don't... What I'm trying to say is, I don't know what he's good at because I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, but, but, but even so, I don't even know if he if he if he's a good false number nine. If he's if he's if he's like a good forward. If he's good. If he's a good kind of link up player. I don't even he, know he's a good he's midfield. Trying to cut you, Kenny. Yeah? Even the yeah. pass that he passed to Reese and Reese yeah. the post and big up Reese Nelson. He took, yeah. he took that goal well. We'll come yeah. to Eddie in a second. Yeah, because Eddie, why ain't he shooting? But we'll come to that in a second. Yeah, right. That pass from Kai Havertz, where Reese hits the post in the second half, he was mm-hmm. looking at Eddie and aiming at Eddie, and it went to Reese. Luckily, see, see, yeah, you know, see, 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 you got the replays. We just see a good pass, so we, yeah, 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 but we're, we're at the other side of the pitch, so that looks like a good pass. So, but the fact is, is that I can't see that now. Now, if we get to Inketia, oh, what nuts off, the, but but. Desperate, trying to get himself sent off. I don't know why he did that tackle. That tackle in the second half. There was one instance where you've got a praise Eddie, where he turns a, hosp- a poor ball into a good ball, and he outpaces the defender. He toe, he toe punts it, and 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 then Brentford Peter makes the save. First half, obviously, he, he sat on a goal for Reese Nelson. But again, there's instances when you think, oh God, mate, you could see the difference between him and and Jesus. You just yep. can. He just yeah, can. You know, you know I, I said this in the watch along, right? If you if you go, I know you haven't. Obviously, you were watching it live, and I know yeah. you go back and dissect it, yeah, whenever tomorrow, whatever, yeah. Mm. Right? If you actually have a look when Eddie passes that ball to Reese for the goal, yeah, the winner, mm. right? And ultimately, it was the winning goal. But yeah. we're not people that will sit there and go, do you know what? Just because you played one good pass, and even it weren't even a good pass, and I'll tell you why it weren't a good pass. He's seven yards out from goal. His mm. goal side is holding off the defender. Mm. Yes, it's his weaker foot is left. Have a shot, mate. It was mm. easier to have a shot on target than it was to pass mm. Reese the ball because he put Reese in trouble because the centre back or the right back, whoever he was, yeah. was coming across and he dived in, mm. which was the biggest cock up that Geezer did, which yeah, is why but, when Reese turned it into yeah, a goal. But, but, if Reese yeah. misses that. That is a shocking pass, but because it was in the goal, everyone yeah. gives him a pass. Yeah, but, but and I think I think I think that's it. You got to remember where we where we are in the ground. We, 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 there is a TV screen at uh, a dugout so that can help you out, but you're not, you don't go to a football match and watch it on a big screen. Okay, so you watch the yeah. play. So you, you, you think where we are, we're, we're, we're at the, at the away end. We, we, we can only, we can, we, we can only see what's a good pass. So in that respect, we, we don't know whether it was, it was meant for, um, Reese or even no, have no, it. You meant to pass it to yeah. Reese. What I'm saying is he's seven yards out from goal, just off yeah. right. Yeah, on his left foot, fair enough, weaker foot, but yeah. you could whip it. Reese could then run off the back of this guy who's running mm. across like a headless chicken. Instead, he passes Reese into trouble on a ball where Reese is flat footed, not on his tiptoes, but luckily yeah. the defender shot straight. He's probably still yeah. sliding. Yeah, yeah. and, 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 and in the goal, it looks a good pass. Yeah, yeah, but but even day, if you think about the old situation, it says a lot. That you, our best players were Tommy Asu and Gabriel Magalhães. Thank you. I'm sorry. Because, and the reason, and the reason, the reason, the reason why is because the yeah. reason why is that in the second half, there's two Arsenal's this season, and and it, and it was and it was creeping into our play last season. There's fast first half Arsenal or second half Arsenal. First half Arsenal is a brilliant to watch. The sublime and they're in control. Second half Arsenal is when teams get into the game. 
And let's just, let's let you mention Ivan Tony. I'm glad you mentioned Ivan Tony. If Ivan Tony is playing today, I think Brett would get back into this game right, and well, pretty comfortably because the reason, re, 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 and I think the reason why is that they won the midfield battle when they're setting off, but they have no quality in terms of all. Like Brian McBermo, his best position is where he plays on a sort of like in, in a sacker position. And yeah. we we'll, we'll, all respect to Wizard. He's good, but he's no, he's no Ivan Tony. No now, if you, you, if, if you think, if you look at the situation, Ivan Tony can hold the ball up, he can get him behind his strikers, and he's he's got the footballing ability and composure, and the, composure to put to put some of shots away. But saying that, it's one of those games where you you take your point, you take your you take your own win, and you know, like I said, then tap your hat and say goodbye and good yeah, riddance. Because I'll tell, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you one, I'll tell you one thing now. We're going to have to get used to these performances until we get, until, until, you know, we, we get something to spark us. But let me tell you something now. I'm going to, I'm going to predict something now. If you think we're going to see consistent performances like we saw last season, you're in dreamland. Because as long as Kai Havertz is in, is in our first 11, you're, you're not going to be able to play flying football, even with, maybe with Jason's inside, you could play flying football. But as long as Jason's inside, with Kai Havertz, you're always going to be able to carry someone. Yeah, he's always going to find, it's always, it's always going to take him, take him the whole game to get in the game. And I, the manager is desperate for him to do well, and that's why he yeah. doesn't take him off. Is because he wants him to prove him right. But there's got to be a suffer, there's going to be a time when we're going to get to a situation where if we play like this against Man City and they give us a hammer, and I pray it doesn't happen, and I don't want it to happen, then maybe the manager may think, you know what, this guy has to work his way back in the team because we're getting a situation now is that the perform if you take away PSV. The performances have been sketchy, scratchy, and we're just doing yeah. enough. We've yeah. got to be better than that because Mate, when we do play, play... Mohamed El Nenny, shout out Mohamed El Nenny. Yeah, that guy we... did more when he came on than yeah. Kai Havertz has done. Well, he, 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 he got a standing ovation. You know, yeah, one thing I want to one, 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 20 minutes of football this season, uh, yeah, after nine uh, months out with an injury, than Kai uh, Havertz has done in eight. Games. One thing, one thing, one thing I want to say, I want to, you know, give um, our captain a bit of a. Um, yeah, give him some, um, give him some like um, congratulations and a well done because I like the way he pushed down Nelly towards the fans to to yeah. take his ovation. I like the way he pushed um, Sago Junior to come to uh, to come to the fans as well. I like that 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 part of the captaincy. I like that that he, yeah. he uses braces. Come on, you're one of us now. Take the congratulations. I respect him for that. He more passes today on the card than mm. he came on. Yeah, and, and that's it. And, 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 and that's the thing. You. What's happened is that you, in conclusion to what we're saying, the game got a bit more comfortable for us when uh, F, when players like you oh, know. Uh, this is why top players come in. I get the um start Odegaard, start Jesus, then take these players off and rest them up. But yeah, but what it is, man. I, listen, follow Kenny Ken nineteen seventy two people. Kenny, I love you always, man. And, and thank I'm so you very glad much. you got back to North London, safe and sound, away from that Chelsea mob. <laughs> no, nah, they're all right. They're all right. They're uh, nice to me anyway. Cool, to be fair. But no, get them, get them from where you are safely, mate. I can't speak to you soon. Love you, love. Love. Right. Take care.